Hey Adam here with a simple and fast review of the full watt brand 12 volt car refrigerator. I'm really excited to try this out. Uh, we're gonna open it up, show you what it looks like, of course test it out, and then let you know whether or not it's worth buying. All right, so let's get this out of the box. All right, so to open it up, we're just gonna hit that little yellow button right there. Uh, inside, we're gonna find some, uh, probably some charging uh, pieces, the user manual, and the options for, uh, for plugging in. You can either plug into a, uh, a wall outlet, or you can uh, utilize this to uh, plug into uh, the car, and then the other side of this is, uh, let's bring this up close, uh, it's going to go right in um, to the side of this thing. And of course, you'll have your user manual. I highly recommend you read that uh, cover to cover. Get all these parts taken off. All right, so continuing on here, I just want to show you uh, as we look at the inside here. Uh, this, I'm assuming, is a plug to drain. Simple plug uh, to get the water out. Uh, you'll have, it looks like a light over here. Uh, and then, of course, you're, uh, you're going to have your power settings, all that stuff. So uh, we're going to get this plugged in so we can, can demonstrate it. Um, again, make sure you read your user manual. All right, so I just got this plugged in here, as you can tell, and it uh, immediately kind of just sets to the current temperature. So uh, we'll get it cooled off, but I just want to show you what it's, uh, it defaults to is the current temperature. All right, so while uh, I get this thing ready, I just want to show you the cooling window, uh, obviously your control panel. You got good handles on each side that can help you to carry this thing. So I'll show you that. And then, uh, again, you'll have your temperature display. Uh, kind of there we go, the plug. It's an auto LED light uh, that goes on as soon as you open it up. Uh, so let's uh, let's get it filled up a little bit, show you the kind of the capacity capabilities, and uh, go from there. All right, so showing the capacity here, I just want to show that it easily fits five across and easily fits for uh, going uh, this way. So um, easy to fit at least 20, uh, and you could probably just as easily throw, you know, at that point, another layer of uh, at least two this way, and then three. So you could probably get at least a case of beer in there or a case of whatever, uh, 24 pack of whatever you're drinking. Um, but again, there's plenty of room up top. So you don't, when you don't have to add ice, it, uh, it really helps with the capacity capabilities. So with it unlocked, there's a couple things you can do uh, with the settings button. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, press that twice. And, oops, and that should take you to eco mode, which again, I'm hoping you can see. All right, so next let's cover the modes. We'll have um, kind of your frozen foods. Uh, it looks like uh, your ice cream. Fruits, drinks. It seems to have kind of two different modes. So zero degrees Fahrenheit is like to keep it freezing. Currently we're already way, already down to 66. Hitting your mode again, It'll take you to 14 degrees or 41 degrees. Uh, so there's a couple different settings for each one. Hitting it again, we'll get into our cold drinks at 50 degrees. And so that's it as far as the settings. If you uh, don't work in the Fahrenheit world and uh, work in a Celsius world, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hit our settings button, hold it down for two seconds. 
and then we're gonna just uh, hit the up and down. Uh, whoop, we're back to locked again. So it does go in the child lock situ situation a lot, so just be careful of that. So we're gonna be switching now between Celsius and Fahrenheit just by hitting the plus button or, uh, or the minus button. So hold it for two seconds and hit plus to get into Fahrenheit. Now, I've got it on max mode, so just again, uh, if you're looking to go from like 72 degrees like we started into a rapid thing, you're gonna use the max mode. Um, otherwise, you're gonna go into the eco mode. So again, follow the instructions. Super important that you do that. All right, so our second option is to just simply put it into the vehicle, uh, in the trunk. Uh, so what I have is a, uh, an opportunity to just kind of plug this in right here. So I'm gonna get this plugged in and show you exactly kind of how it sets up uh, in the vehicle uh, now. All right, so as you can see, it just plugs right in. Uh, tons of extra cord, by the way. Um, this is your main plug uh, if you're using a uh, outlet in the wall. But as you can see, this can carry you know from the front of the car um, if needed. So. Uh, tons of extra space again defaults to like the 66 degree so uh, once we're on again just need to make sure that we hold down for three seconds our child lock and then we can change modes to be whatever we want again this will set to 50 degrees and so we'll uh we'll test it out as of right now it's 66 but that should drop uh, as we get there and you can kind of feel it as it starts to pump um, a little bit of a uh, slight vibration there. And so uh, we'll get this thing cooled off and uh, revisit. All right, so as I open this up, this has been running for quite some time. Um, I actually cranked it down at one point to get below, uh, just to prove exactly what the weather is or the temperature is. So I'm also gonna kind of give you a quick um, shot of this, a weather of 72.9 degrees outside, so I'm gonna open this up just so you continue to see uh, exactly where we're at. We're at 44. Now this says 41, um, but we're on our way down again. This is general general feel, so uh, as you can see, pretty darn close. Um, so super effective at keeping your stuff cold. Um, it will take some time, just be aware that it won't just uh, turn on and be there. So you'll probably wanna give it like 15, 20 minutes um, to power on before you start to fill uh, fill it up or you know expect it to keep that temperature. So um, overall, it's a ter terrific buy, especially if you've got a, uh, you know, a car charger uh, opportunity in the trunk. Um, but either way, there's tons of space uh, for the cord to run wherever you want. So if you're looking to have some cold beverages uh, in your trunk um, or anywhere, this is a great little refrigerator option. And uh, I think it's uh, worth buying. So thanks for watching.